today. We are joined by Les Sinclair, communications and PR manager with Blue Ridge Area Food Bank. Thank you so much for being here. Thanks for having me. Yes, we are happy to have you. And we're talking about how people can help out the Blue Ridge Area Food Bank with what's left to the summer, really. Yeah, well, the summer is typically a downtime for us when it comes to donations. This summer has been even more low yeah. or particularly low. Now, we think that has a lot to do with inflation and the cost of groceries. Uh, so that's forcing us to spend even more money than we normally would. We have spent in the last fiscal year over a million and a half more than we had budgeted for. Uh, so we're really asking for monetary donations. Those are very helpful. We can still spend uh, a dollar and help provide four meals, which is really good. That has a lot to do with our scale. Uh, so money is always good, but we're also looking for food as well. If, uh, if folks want to start a fun drive or start a food drive, that would always be beneficial. Awesome, yeah, anything helps. How, um, what, or what kinds of foods would you say are the most popular for people to donate? That is so easy. It's not necessarily the most popular, but what we would ask for is whatever you would give your family. So whatever you're serving your family makes a great donation to the Blue Ridge Area Food Bank. Think of uh, high nutrition, high protein, low sodium, low sugar. Those sorts of foods really make a big difference. And we know that our partner pantries enjoy those foods too because the guests really ask for those. Yeah, that's a really good way to think of that. Yeah. Um, you mentioned inflation just a minute ago. Are there other ways to give to the food bank that maybe don't involve money? Yeah, volunteering is one of the great ways that folks can give back to the community. They can come as a work group. They can come maybe with a friend. They can come by themselves. They, maybe they network, whatever the case. It's a really a great way to give back. And you can network with us. I'm sorry, volunteer with us, or you can volunteer with maybe one of our partner pantries. You can go to our uh, website, and we've got all the details there, listing all the pantries, and just call them up and ask if you can be of service. Awesome. So many different ways to help. Uh, now, the Food Finder tool, for people who don't know about that, how does that that work. Yeah, the Food Finder tool is really good. I use it a lot and it really makes life convenient for folks who um, maybe need free groceries, right? So you simply go to our website at brafb.org, click on find help, and a map will come up and you can input an address, an address that's convenient to you. Maybe it's your work, maybe it's your home, maybe it's just some other address that's convenient. And uh, uh, you'll put in that address and you'll get a map that gives you all the locations of programs and partner pantries nearby that uh, you can go to It'll list their hours, their contact information, even provide uh, their website and address so that you can go there easily and use that as a resource. We also know that um, uh, people find out about the food bank through word of mouth. So if you're hearing about this on the television, then please tell other folks about it too. Yeah. And real quick before we go, where can people find more information about all of this that we talked about? Yeah, the website is a great resource, brafb.org, like Blue Ridge Area Food Bank.org. It's the okay. acronym. And uh, it's a plethora of information. You can donate there. You can find out about how to volunteer. You can find out how to, about how to start a fundraiser or food drive too. All right. Awesome stuff. Thank you so much for taking the time to be here. And Casey, thank you and NBC 29 as well. Yes, we'll have you back soon you. and we will be right back.